Hi, welcome to Cooking with Soy. I'm Betsy Stellick from the Nebraska Soybean Board's Bean Team, and I'm joined today by Jane Reeson from the Nebraska Pork Producers. Jane today is going to make for us a delicious edamame sweet and sour pork stir fry. And then after that, to complement the meal, I'll be making a peach smoothie with tofu um, as a dessert. So we're going to show you today how delicious and easy it is to incorporate soy into your diet. Yeah, thanks Betsy. I am really excited to be here today. Um, we've got this fabulous recipe um, that combines um, edamame and uh, lean, nutritious, um, boneless pork tenderloin um, with lots of veggies and it's just a really terrific um, heart healthy recipe. Good, I'm excited. <laughs> So I guess we're going to get started. Um, we've already heated um, about two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Okay. And so we're going to get started. Uh, first, we have um, some just really nice lean boneless pork tenderloin. So we're going to get that going. And then to that, we're going to add um, just about a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, just to kind of give it a little kick. And, and then on top of that, we're going to add some fresh grated ginger. And that's about a tablespoon of that. Okay. And like I said, this is just really quick and really easy. Um, this is just a one pound pork tenderloin that I've cubed. Um, and it cooks, this cooks really fast, which yeah. is uh, what I really love about this. Um, we'll be able to cook this pork and the ginger and the red pepper flakes in about three three to four minutes, actually. Wow, nice. Yeah, so we're just gonna we just get that stir fried. Okay, so we're cooking the pork tenderloin. We've got this just about finished. Okay, to this, we are going to add about uh, two cups of uh, fresh veggies. And what we have here is red, green, and yellow bell peppers and some red onion. Oh, pretty so colors. Add, yeah, it makes it, this makes a really colorful dish. So not only does it taste great, but it's really pretty and fun to eat. And then of course, here we have our frozen shelled edamame. Mm -hmm. so yeah, the FDA tells us that we should eat at least 25 grams of soy protein a day yeah. for a heart healthy diet. So this looks like we're well on our way. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, we are very well on our way. That's the neat thing about this um, stir fry. Very lean, very healthy, really high in protein between the lean pork and the edamame. Just a really great dish in terms of protein and low fat all at the same time. So we're again, we've added these veggies and we're gonna stir fry these again for about three or four minutes. And again, do this over about medium high heat. Okay. And we put the edamame in frozen, so. Yeah, and you can, they're becoming, edamame is becoming more and more common to it buy is. in stores. You can usually find it in any um, frozen vegetable section in your grocery store, and you can find them in the health market at high vee stores. That's right. That's where I get mine. Edamame is great, too. It is. Because it's, it's, it's really a, yummy. It is. A lot of people eat it for snacks. It's a great snack. It's uh -huh. a great or snack. Or you can add it to main dishes like we're doing here in the stir fry. Like that. Um, it's very, very nutritious. It's very high in protein, very high in fiber, but um, cholesterol free. Cholesterol free, that's good. So yeah, again, again, low fat, low calorie, and this dish also low cholesterol with the fresh veggies and the edamame and the low fat pork. So heart healthy. Very heart healthy. And then I would just serve this over, you know, some steamed rice. You could use brown or white or whatever you want. Okay, we've kind of got that. Um, the last, two of the last things that we're going to put in, we're going to finish off with a sweet and sour sauce, but we're going to do that at the very end just okay. to warm it through. But right now we're going to add a little fruit to the mix. Okay, that's and the sweet part. That's the sweet okay. part. And so we've got um, an eight ounce can of chunked pineapple that we've drained, and we're going to add that to the mix. Now this, you don't have to do for three or four minutes. Uh -huh. You just want to incorporate that um, pineapple until it's just warmed through. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. It smells really good, doesn't it? <laughs> and it's pretty too. It's very pretty. I think this would be a dish that even uh, kids would like to eat, mm -hmm. just because of the pineapple and the sweet and the color. Uh -huh. Great dish for kids, but healthy. We just won't tell them. We won't tell them. <laughs> it's a secret. Shh. What they don't know won't hurt them. So we're just going to incorporate that. I think we've got that pineapple warm. And then the very last thing that we're going to add and this is just a, you know, a La Choy sweet and sour sauce. Mm -hmm. And just use, um, this is a 10 ounce bottle. And you just don't even have to measure this out, which I really oh, love. Bottle. Just dump the bottle in there. That's convenient. Yes. <laughs> like I said, this whole recipe is awesome. Quick yeah. and easy. So, I'm gonna grab a couple plates here. It, it looks healthy. It does look healthy. <laughs> especially great on these plates. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> a little red pepper. 
And like I said, I'd serve this over hot cooked rice. Or we could just eat it now. Or you can just eat it that <laughs> way too. Well, thank you for showing me this recipe. Thanks, This Betsy. looks like it's really fun to try. Yep. But I think it's dessert time. It is dessert time. You so, go for it. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> Today, we are making a cool peach fruit smoothie. Um, and fruit smoothies are a great way to incorporate soy into your diet. Um, they make really fast and really easy. Um, and today we're using a tofu, a tofu in our recipe. And a lot of people are like, what is tofu? Tofu um, is also known as uh, soybean curd. I know. <laughs> and what, how they make tofu is it's sort of like a, a cheese-like food that's made from curdling soy milk. Um, it's very, very high in protein and very, very high in, in vitamin B and low in sodium, so it's heart healthy. Um, so what we're gonna do, it's very, very easy, it's super simple. We just add a 21 ounce uh, can of peach pie filling. Just the big cans that you get in the store, down into our blender. Come on, peach, okay. <laughs> and um, then we're going to add our tofu. Now I've just used a 12 ounce block here, but I've crumbled it up to make it blend a little bit easier. I wonder if, do we have a spoon? Don't want to make a mess here. Well, we'll see. But if you put the there whole block in by itself, it tends to not blend as, as well. So, we just blend it up. Alrighty. But you know, the more you blend it, the silkier it the gets. The silkier it gets. And tofu is kind of interesting like that. It just magically turns from a block to the silkiest, smoothest, richest thing ever. Ooh. It's really kind. It's really cool. Alrighty. Good. I want to make sure it's nice and smooth. <laughs> the smoother the better. Looks it's getting there. Yep, it's getting there. It gives it a sort of a mousse type feel. It's it looks, really, it's really looking, nice. Oh, there you go. There we go. Now you're going. Okay. So now that we're all blended up, we're going to add half a banana, which I've sliced up here. Okay. And we just drop it in. And the banana is going to give it a nice uh, sort of smooth, luscious texture, along with that really good banana taste. So we have everything all blended up. Okay. And depending on how, how uh, thick you like your smoothies, you can also add crushed ice to it. Okay. Um, but it, it looks pretty, pretty nice and thick today. So we're just going to take it out and serve it in these Ooh, really wow, unique... Oh, looks yummy. I know. It, it's really... I like it because it's a healthy, guilt-free dessert. You don't have to feel bad. So you have a totally guilt-free meal, meal going on here. That's so right. Get the pork stir fry and a healthy dessert. Yes, and because I like things pretty, okay. I'm going to add some fresh mint nice. to our smoothie here. So it looks it looks pretty too. It looks as good as it t tastes. <laughs> you can find both of these recipes, the recipe for the edamame sweet and sour pork stir fry and the cool peach smoothie on the Nebraska Soybeans website, nebraskasoybeans.org, or the Bean Teens Facebook page. I'd like to thank Jane Reeson from Nebraska Pork Producers for coming out and telling us how to make this delicious recipe. Thank you for having us. This has been fun today. Thanks. We hope that you try some of these recipes and see how easy it is to incorporate soy into your diet. I'd also like to thank the Midtown High V for letting us use their kitchen classroom for today's demo. And from the Nebraska Soybean Board, I hope you eat well and eat soy. <laughs>